uh, I'm in the uh, production track and I chose it because I wanted to uh, become a game designer, become the guy who uh, like cre creates the ideas uh, for coming up with the games. And then also down the line becoming a, a producer or someone who's in charge. I chose FIA because I, I was originally a UCF student and I heard about this uh, game design grad school that had opened up and I'd already, um, I was a digital media student, I was uh, thinking about getting into games, but after hearing of how hard it is to actually get into the industry, uh, hearing about FIA and their placement rating and just how they have, they can get you that foot in the door and it just seemed like it was perfect because it was right down the street from where my school already was, so. Well, right now uh, we're working on our uh, big games and I'm actually um, a designer for the game uh, Resonance that we're working on. So I'm, uh, me and another uh, producer, we're both designers and we're uh, just trying to come up with all the game mechanics and like level design for our game and just trying to get it all out on paper and just get it all like fleshed out so that way when production comes we can start building all the levels and then uh, getting the game uh, completed. That I'd be here a lot. Uh, I mean, from what I'd heard, uh, because I'm, like I said, I was right at UCF, right down the road, we would uh, hear back from some of the other UCF students that had come to FIA and just about like the amount of hours that they put in and just, yeah, I, I figured it was gonna be pretty crazy and that I would be here a lot and I, I told my girlfriend I would actually not be seeing her that much, so, it's, yeah. <laughs> Biggest challenge so far, uh, just trying to define what the producer role is because there's so many different things that you can do as a producer. I mean, yeah, you can be a designer and a leader, but then are, there's also so many other different jobs that you wouldn't expect a programmer or an artist to do. So it's just trying to like figure out what those jobs are and uh, filling like filling that role accordingly. And that also means like learning new technology that you don't know or just being like personable it's just really trying to fill the role as a producer which is a very wide uh it's a very wide role uh number one uh you have to be personable and you need to put yourself out there i mean rick uh tells us constantly you are always on stage and that means that you need to be like first of all you need to be here and if you could be doing work at home, but if people don't see you, they're not going to really think you're doing much of anything. I mean, you could be doing the hardest work out of anyone, but if you're really not here, people will just tend to think, oh, he's, he's not here, he's not doing much work. And when you are here, you need to, like, not say put on a show, but you need to put your best step forward. You need to always try and be personal to everybody, try to talk to everybody, get to know everyone. So that way, if they know you, then they'll, they'll tend to like you and then they might vote for your projects or they'll be more willing to like hear your ideas and just, you know, I mean, lead by example and just try to, try to be here and put your best foot forward. Well, in my undergrad, we did, because uh, I was in digital media undergrad for UCF, we did have um, a couple classes where we had group projects and it's not really the same as here because in, in my undergrad, you always have, or in any undergrad, you always have people that are in groups that they're lazy, they don't want to do anything, and you kind of have to pull your weight to uh, do most of the work. But here, I mean, it's a graduate school. Everybody's here to learn. Everybody is here to like contribute. So I find it, it's a lot easier to work in groups here because I'm not having to carry the, the workload all by myself. There's people here that are working with you and the, I mean, they're all working towards the same goal. They all want to get great jobs coming out of here and you can't, you can't slack off while you're here. You need to pull your own weight. Uh, most beneficial part, I mean, building up those uh, teamwork skills and uh, also just uh, like defining what the role of the producer and just finding out what I need to learn to, what I need to learn to become a great producer and just to, to try and fill out like any role that I might be offered by any uh, company. Uh, besides getting my foot in the door and actually into the industry, um, I, I think I, just, I would like to go to a company that uh, maybe is not 
it doesn't make games that are uh, based in reality, like fantasy games with maybe magic and stuff like that. Like I would, I would love to work for Blizzard uh, one day down the road, but that that takes a little while, like in industry experience, to, to get your foot in the door there. But I mean, I would love to be a, a designer or lead producer for like StarCraft three or four, which would be like twenty years down the line. I know, but that would that would be like my ultimate goal, just to I think work for Blizzard. I mean, I guess for incoming students, just make sure that you you know your your skills. Like, uh, producers have to have some basic skills. Like, you should know Photoshop because you need to be able to help out your artists when, or or just for making uh, any kind of images. Like, you should know Photoshop pretty well. You should know probably know a little bit of some basic coding skills. So that way, you can go in and maybe do a little bit of scripting. Uh, it just you need to be proactive. That's a uh, one major thing that you need. You need to be able to go out and find tasks that you need to do like before the summer before you get here you should be learning a whole bunch of different things like i know uh like first weeks uh in uh, rapid prototyping we learn flash so i mean maybe just you, if you know this go ahead and just start learning flash a little bit just learn um the scripting in flash or just how how the program works just try to give yourself the uh a leg up whenever possible I'd like to say my favorite game we're playing right now uh, would be uh, Gears of War 2, just because there are a lot of other people at the school playing as well. So we just we play on LAN uh, late at night, like probably around midnight when we're all done with work. We just we'll get on and uh, play Gears, and it's a lot of fun. Wingman is a, a fun uh, mode of play.